What's up guys, this is Yeah Boy. I'm gonna review the very first premium tier 7 cruiser, the Algerie. This is a French cruiser, part of the Le Royale event. Requires 55,000 tokens to get it. And I don't have those tokens. Y'all know the drill. Ladies and gentlemen, the Algerie. Because this is a cruiser, I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of clips of me taking out destroyers because destroyers are the prime target for cruisers. Notice that I'm approaching B, it's the beginning of the match. I'm detected, but the enemy is not. They're most likely a destroyer. about right here I'm just gonna start turning to the right because he's probably either already launched his torpedoes or he's about to and in this case he just did and they missed by a long shot here's an Akatsuki I expected this guy to not have any torpedoes but just in case I'm gonna do a 360 I expected this guy to have already launched them already but he didn't so lucky me Now in this next clip, I don't understand exactly why Wargaming puts five destroyers on one side, but they do, so this match is a little challenging. This Akatsuki snuck up on me, I only saw this guy that I'm looking at right now because I looked at my minimap. Matches like these are always challenging. Who doesn't like a good challenge, right? What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. But this third destroyer here, you know, I could dodge two of their torpedoes, two destroyer's torpedoes, but they cornered me, and the third one got me. Here where you're gonna see me using my speed boost to my advantage when charging this destroyer. Here's a full match guys. Developers. Please pay careful attention to this salvo. The rounds do not fall where I aimed. It's a long-standing bug. We would all greatly like it to be fixed. I believe that bug has been around since I started playing in January about a year ago. Now let's review some stats. Guard's hit points go. The Algerie is about average with a little over 28,000. About right in the middle of all the tier 7 cruisers. Guard's citadel protection goes. 
The Algeria is about average again, at 10% Citadel protection. For fire and flooding resistance, the Algeria is about average again, with 10% resistance. As far as damage reduction goes, again, the Algeria is about average, with 9%. As far as torpedo damage reduction goes, I guess you could say the Algeria is either average or a little above average because three ships have 10.5%, three cruisers, I mean, at tier 7, and three have lower than that. I would just call it average. As far as speed goes, the Algeria is the slowest in its class at 31.4 knots, but it is not the slowest to accelerate. That belongs to the shores. As far as turn time goes, the Algeria takes the longest to turn of all of the tier 7 cruisers. You want to compare main guns? The Algeria has the second to lowest damage per second. If you want to compare salvos, the Algeria has about an average salvo of 6,808 AP round damage, 5,152 high explosive round damage. It's about average, but as far as damage per second goes, it's a second to the lowest. The Algeria's main guns traverse at the slowest in its class, along with the New Orleans and Fiji. The Algeria's torpedoes, I would not call them average. They're barely more than the Fiji at 21,000 damage, the 40 second reload time. Just to compare, the Mayoko torpedo salvo from both sides does 48,300 damage. The Algerie does 21,390 damage. You want to compare AA? Anti-aircraft? The Algerie has the worst anti-aircraft in its class, which is matched by the Shores. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this review helps you determine whether you want to buy this ship or not. I did have fun playing this ship, but I don't think it's anything special. If you want an overpowered ship, this isn't it. If you want to have fun, you can have fun in this ship.